guys welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel it's Ogarin right here i'm back again with another beautiful banger if you're new to this channel kindly consider subscribing liking sharing and commenting down below and if you're a returning viewer thank you so much for always coming back for me i really appreciate so guys today i have a very different uh video to do for you i lost my monetization just because of a few things okay yeah so i'm gonna be sharing the things that made me lose my monetization i actually have two youtube channels one this one our uh, ring official and the other one is called baby brighter so i lost monetization on the baby brighter channel so there are a few things as a youtuber that you have not to do first of all uh you don't have to post videos before I tell you what made me lose my monetization, I'm gonna tell you why. Uh, I'm gonna tell you a few things that you are not supposed to do as a, a YouTuber or a new YouTuber that you are looking forward to be monetized. Okay, so first of all, uh, one thing that you should not do is posting uh, th uh, videos that have TikTok watermarks, uh, Facebook watermarks, or Instagram watermarks. You have to look for a way on how to download the, the videos to uh, to post on your channel. Okay, you have to look for a way to uh, to download them. You understand what I say, so that they cannot come with the TikTok video max. If at all you post someone's video and or not even or even your own video with a TikTok watermark, that means you gonna you uh, you gonna uh, get a uh, copyright issues. Okay. Yeah, so just avoid posting TikTok uh, watermarks, TikTok videos with watermarks, you understand? Yeah, I hope you understand that. Secondly, avoid posting people's music. Um, people's music will really cost you at, at large. They will really cost you at large because it's not it's not allowed to post someone's music. If I told some that if you post someone's music, that person will be texted, will be reached out and asked if he is uh, he is comfortable with you using his music. And if not, your video is, gone, is going to be uh, pulled down from YouTube. Or else uh, your video will be put, uh, a copyright will be put on your channel, on your video, you understand. So avoid posting, uh, putting uh, people's music on your channel. Avoid putting people's music on your channel. Third, avoid posting people's videos. You just go uh, on YouTube and you feel like this video is so good and it's so amazing and I really want to post on my own channel. Don't. Please, just look for a way to edit the video. Do not just take that video and, and directly post on your channel. It will cost you at large. Just do not uh, post someone's video without editing. You have to do, download it. You edit. Even if it's editing, you like show your, your, your face there at least. But just don't uh, download people's, news, uh, people's videos and post them immediately. There are a lot of things that you should not do as a young YouTuber. You have to follow YouTube community guidelines. For you to be uh, on YouTube program, okay? You don't just have to. We are on YouTube, but a lot of things YouTube uh, is so strict. YouTube is so strict, just like just like any other business. YouTube is so strict. So be uh, be keen with what you are posting. Be keen with how you are running your channel, so that you can live on the YouTube streets forever. So what made me lose my YouTube channel monetization was buying watch hours. You know the how we we we, we are like the nini. We just have to. We want to do it faster. Like we 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 are not patient at all. Yeah, YouTube needs patience. But because I wasn't patient, so I had to buy watch hours. So I bought 4,000 watch hours and these 4,000 watch hours were removed the next week. You know, it was not removed immediately. It took like a week for the watch hours to be pulled down. 
So uh, immediately I bought the watch hours, I monetized my channel. After I monetized the channel, I was so comfortable that now I have monetized my channel, I'm at a safer place. No, I was wrong. Uh, the thing is, I bought the watch hours not knowing that it is not allowed. And YouTube is so, uh, it is so keen and strict on everything you do on their streets. Okay? So I bought the watch hours and after one week, the watch hours was pulled down. The watch hours were pulled down. So what happened is watch hours, they were pulled down, but not all of them. They were pulled down, but not all of them. There is this video, a one hour video I did. It was actually a, it was actually a live, a live streamed. So that one, the, 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 the watch hours that were on that video were not pulled down. That means uh, the watch hours that were pulled down were only 800 watch hours. That means I had 4,000 watch hours. So uh, if you removed, if you remove 800 watch hours, that means I'm remaining with 3,200 watch hours. And what you what you need to be monetized on YouTube is 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. That means uh, my watch hours had reduced, and so I wasn't meeting the YouTube monetization uh, uh, rules. You understand? So the the watch hours just were just pulled down, and I remain with 3,200 watch hours. So I lost my monetization. There is one thing that you should not. It is so traumatizing for you to be monetized and again to be demonetized. It is better to never be monetized than to be monetized and to be demonetized now. It is so hectic and so traumatizing. I almost gave up. And I was like, no, I must make money on this YouTube streets. Okay? So I decided that I will start another channel, not knowing that I could just continue with the same channel. I could just continue with the same channel. So I started this channel and it picked up so well. And so today I'm already monetized here and I'm already earning here. But again, on the other channel, that channel is not done. I'm not uh, throwing it away. I will get back to this. But I have one challenge. YouTube will only check on the 365 days watch hours. The watch hours that you gained in the last 365 and so the last time i posted videos on that on that channel was one year ago that is 365 so that means if i would if i wanted to monetize that channel today i will have again to start looking for a uh, watch hours because those watch hours are not counted out they are not counted so that means i lost everything not everything because i have 1000 subscribers I have the channel with me, but I lost watch hours. The, uh, the 3,200 watch hours are still there. But again, I have to meet the 365, the last 365 days watch hours. That means I'm going to start again to look for a watch hour. So traumatizing and so hectic. So for you to avoid all this, just follow the YouTube guidelines community guidelines follow the youtube community guidelines and it will really save you at large okay i had to share with you this because a lot of people are, are uh, there are a lot of upcoming young youtubers and they have to know everything about it be patient on youtube just be patient on youtube do not rush to buy watch hours buying watch hours will not help you you might buy watch hours, you might buy a subscribers, but at the end of the day, you need viewers. Since you need viewers, so that means you gained nothing. You just monetize the channel, but you again don't have viewers. Again, you have to struggle to get viewers. And there is no way you can buy viewers, baby girl. There is no way you can buy viewers, baby boy. Okay? There is no way. You just have to work your ass out for you to... Uh, gain the viewers so it is so hard you all know that starting a youtube channel is not a is not an easy thing it's not anything to laugh about it's not anything to talk to talk about it's so hectic 
And if you pass these community monetization guidelines, then congratulations. It is not as easy as you think. It is so hard. So for any upcoming YouTuber, I wish you all the best. Do not give up. Just continue working out. Work your ass out for you to get to monetization stage. And I'm literally wishing you all the best. All I can tell you is that do not give up. YouTube is the way to go. And do not give up. Just keep pushing. I love you so much. Until we meet again in the next video. I love you.